Hey guys, 8 Squid here and welcome to another Playmaker Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at elevators and lifts and this was a request given to me in my Discord. Um, so if you have any requests, you can leave some requests in my Discord server. There is a channel for requests or in the comment section down below. And before we jump into it, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button to get more tutorials about Playmaker from me. So, lifts. So, let's have a look at our scene here. We have this red capsule here representing our player. Very basic. Uh, he's just got a movement and jump action on him. And then we have this object here to act as our elevator. So at the moment, there's nothing on it. Okay, so just to make things easy to see in a moment, I'm going to turn off our background. Okay, and we're gonna set up our lift with movement. So, first of all, we need to give it a tag. So we're gonna add a tag, and we're gonna call this lift. You can call it what you want, lift or elevator, but I'm English, so I'm gonna call it lift. Okay, and then we're gonna add two um, box colliders, 2D. We want two of those. Okay, one is going to act as our trigger. One is just going to be to make it solid. So we'll make the first one here. I'm going to make that move up to here, and then the second one here, which is our trigger. I'm going to copy the position there, but then hopefully, let me turn off this one for here. Okay, uh, actually just do that one first. So I'll delete this one here for now. Okay, I want this one to be just above the ground here, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the second box collider back in. And for this one, I'm just gonna do the same there. So it's just touching where the ground part starts. Okay. <clears throat> now, We've got a few options to make our elevator move. We could do a move action, or move to action, so it'll move to a point we specify, and then move down to another point we specify. But I think uh, the tween position action is actually a lot nicer and gives more control. So let's do that. We're gonna add two FSMs, oh, sorry, one FSM, two states, and we'll give it two finish transitions, one on each, and link them up. Okay, and we'll call state one, move up, and this one, move down. All right, so we'll get our tween position in. So we've got tween position, and we can close this now. <clears throat> now, uh, you'll see here, we've got this little orange uh, rectangle with the move tool on it. Now, if I just move my camera, we want to get it so it's exactly the same position on our x-axis here. So to do that, we're just gonna copy this here and paste that into world position x, and now it's where we want it to be. And then we'll put that to where we want it to move to. So we'll say we want the elevator to move to, say, here. <clears throat> Start delay. This is like when the game starts, how long before the elevator starts moving and moves to the next position. So I'll say one second here. Ease type, this will tell you how slow it will start and how fast it will be at the end. Okay. So you can choose and mess around with different options here, but I just like to put mine linear, so it moves at a kind of like a constant speed. <clears throat> and then how long you want it to take to get from here to here, let's say three seconds in real time. And then we'll do finished. And we can just then copy this action and paste it into here. And all we need to do is move that to where we want it to move to. 
so we'll say he wanted to go here <clears throat> and technically now actually let's give it a name here uh, lift movement <clears throat> if we hit play we'll see after about a second of it actually starting this will move up and then go down And if we actually go on to it, whoop. <clears throat> again, so we'll go on. You'll see how, if you look, our character is kind of bouncing and then doing this. Now, that's not exactly something we really want. So, there is an easy way to fix this. So, we're going to go to our player character. And we're going to add a new FSM. Okay. And for this, we're going to want three states. And we'll call this set parent. Okay. And we'll add finished to these and link them up. Okay, and this one will say on lift contact. This one we will call set parent. And then detach parent. Okay, so we're going to add our actions to this one now. All right, so first of all, here where it says on lift contact, we want to do a trigger to the event. All right, and what it is, we're going to have on trigger enter 2D, collide with the lift, send event finished. Now, we want to store the collider. So we're going to add a new variable called lift, sorry, parent, into here. So that when we land on it, it's gonna store that collider, the lift's collider, as the parent. And then here, we want to do a set parent and a next frame event. Sorry, not an next frame event, uh, a trigger enter event here. Okay, so we're going to use the owner and we're going to parent that to a variable. We're going to tick here and choose parent. Okay, and then here we want to say we're going to use owner and this time instead of enter, we're going to change this to exit. So when we exit the collider, we go to finished. So I'm not Clyde tag finished. Uh, the lift. We're going to go to finished. And then in here, we want to detach children. Detach children. Uh, game object. We're going to specify game object. Choose a variable. And then choose parent here. And just to make sure it's all going to work, we're going to do next to frame event. And set that to finished. Okay, so now if you watch the player here, when we touch the lift, it should then jump to be under here. Alright, so let's hit play. Okay, so something's not quite working there. Let's have a look. Okay, so I don't think he's actually making contact with our elevator trigger here. Okay, so let's just make our... Ah, okay, that's why. 
let's make sure we make that as a trigger. Okay, now it will work. These loading times just kill me. We'll go on there, and you'll see now under here our player is a parent, a child, sorry. You'll notice that the movement going up, we can move on here, but it's not jumping up and down. And then when we go off it, we are no longer a child of the lift, and we've got off it and we're no longer influenced by the movement of the lift and that is it it's really simple okay so that is this tutorial finished again uh, if you like the video hit subscribe hit like any requests leave them in the comments below or in my discord server link in the description and until next time 8bit squid out